Hi guys! So today's video is a book review of The Day of the Triffids by John Wyndham. This is my third John Wyndham book. I have previously read The Midwitch Cuckoos and Chalky and now The Day of the Triffids. I have enjoyed all three of these books thoroughly but I have to admit I think this was my favourite. This book was first published in 1951 and this is a penguin edition I have here that all of John Wyndham's books come in and they're a really lovely matching set. It is set in a post-apocalyptic London or even what we might call a mid-apocalyptic setting. At the very beginning of this book our main character is in hospital. He has been attacked by a creature called a triffid uh, who has stung his eyes and he's currently in hospital being treated to stop him going blind and he has all his eyes bandaged up and he can't see. And during the night there is a meteor shower and obviously this is a spectacular sight. The, this, the sky is alight with colour and everybody gets up to watch this meteor shower. When our character wakes up in the morning he has got his vision back and he unwraps his bandages only to find that there is nobody around in the hospital to help him. And it turns out that everybody in the hospital is blind. And when he leaves the hospital, it turns out everybody in London is blind. So essentially everybody that watched this meteor shower has been blinded and there is only a very few exceptions to this situation like our main character. And the story takes off from there and I won't tell you any more because it's a really, really great storyline and it's full of lots of surprises. And I wouldn't want to spoil any of that for you. But a little bit of background to the Triffids. The Triffids are a pretty common feature of this uh, modern setting. It is set in a London and a England and a Britain, much like our own. Um, however, they have these creatures called triffids that just started appearing one day and they are somewhat like plants but a little bit more conscious than a normal plant. They can walk around, they have stingers that they can use as a defence mechanism. But if their stingers are removed then they are completely harmless and it doesn't take long for humanity just to get used to them and see them as like sort of fun little pet slash pet plants that they would have in their garden. However, the triffids are blind. When humanity, who has adapted to living a life where they can see and get around using their eyes, goes blind, the triffids, who have adapted to life without sight, get the upper hand. If you enjoy dystopian or apocalyptic stories then you will really enjoy this book. It is a really phenomenal concept. The writing itself is pretty stereotypical of John Wyndham's writing style which possesses this strange sense of um, sensibility and calmness in the weirdest science fiction scenarios but the characters seem to be very stereotypically English and they possess all the stereotypical typical characteristics of a 1950s English man or woman and throughout everything they just have this real sense of reserved emotion, they don't break down, they're pretty calm. John Wyndham really doesn't give in to over dramatics and excessive action and I really like that. I think it's really interesting to see how people would just really have to deal with the situation. I also think it adds an element of humour to these really wacky situations that the characters behave the way they do. Out of all of John Wyndham's books I found this the most emotionally engaging because that sense of reserved emotion and sensibility uh, is present in the book. Sometimes it's hard to connect to the characters or really feel emotion in the situations that they are experiencing but there was something about this book that really made you feel quite horrified and scared and disturbed and it was really really well done. I really enjoyed that about this book and I think that's what made it a 5 out of 5 star read. The plot itself continuously keeps you guessing. You think you know what's about to happen and boom it changes and that is what keeps you turning the pages. It's absolutely fantastic. You really never know where the story's going right up until the last page. I think one of the reasons it's a lot more emotional as well is because the main character is really in the thick of it. He is the protagonist and he really stands out in the story whereas the other two John Wyndham books I've read, the, the narrator wasn't necessarily the protagonist. But like I said, I just really, really enjoyed this book and I think if you've been wanting to give John Wyndham a try then Day of the Triffids is an excellent place to start. Not that the others aren't because I really enjoyed those as well. But maybe if you didn't quite get into his writing when you read one of his other books then you might want to give this a shot. If you've read this book then please share any thoughts you have on it in the comments below and if you've seen any of the movie adaptations I'd like to hear what you thought of those as well because I haven't watched any yet and I know there's a couple so I would be interested in seeing which one would be better to start with. 
In the meantime, have a lovely week, everyone, and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye, guys.